Praise the Lord. I'm back this afternoon. Praise the Lord with session number three. Part three of the message this morning. Don't give up. Trust God's plan for your life, beloved and friends. I will trust God today. Do not give up. No matter what the pain might be, do not give up today. God has a purpose for your life. Hallelujah. Praise God. Successfully resists the devil today. Does not mean that he will not come back, my friends. Let us remember that he will not come back tomorrow. You must make it a daily duty, my friends, to keep God's plan for your life. I hear you today fresh, fresh in your heart fresh in your mind, fresh in your body, fresh in your soul, fresh in you. Many metaphors and pictures are used today to describe the church today. One of them is the picture of the church as the boat, yes, as the water, my friends, in so many ways. It is an appropriate picture, an appropriate picture of the church uh, through the ages, sailing through the seas. Yes, my friends of history today, we can apply this, this, this symbol, symbolism of this picture this morning of, of to ourselves in this way, beloved and friends, Jesus Christ is the safe shore. Yes, he is a safe shore, he's a boat. Uh, the boat is us, it is us, and the water is our lives. I did you get that this morning? Our life generally, we're on, we're, we're on earth, my friends. Praise God. Sometimes the water is very calm, yes, and at other times, other times it can get stormy and waves, waves very violent. Beloved and friends, have you ever had? Have you ever had a, had, a, had, had a thought on your mind about a cross that made you realize how difficult things are from how they used to be? Beloved and friends, be not just in your Christian in your Christian life this Sunday afternoon, but generally as well, beloved, like ever, ever wonderful. What happened to that friendship that was so close? What happened to that dream that you had? Praise God. How about the vision the vision the Lord has shown you and somehow somehow you have remembered about it and you were you like how oh, how did I ever how did I ever forget uh, for something just uh, just happens and then it hits your mind beloved and friends and the signs you have there for a while but you miss you miss them because you have been preoccupied, preoccupied with other things, praise God, and wherever they showed up, my friends just, just distractedly dismiss them, dismiss them today and in your heart, in, your, in the boat and water symbolize that will be the boat is no longer near the shore, praise God, it has drifted further, drifted further into the sea, Praise God, where it is tossed, tossed to and fro, to and fro by the anger, angry waves, beloved and friends, or even if the sea is calm today and the boat floats peacefully, beloved and friends, it's safer. <coughs> It safely cannot be guaranteed because when the inventable storm comes, it will have it will have no place, no place of support. Praise God, and it risk and it risks being destroyed. Praise God, and that is why the boat, the boat, or the rather us, my friends must stay anchored, must stay anchored somewhere near the shore. Praise God, the safe, the safe place today, my friends. I, I understand that we have so much work to do, so much work to do, praise God. School, school work, family work, yes, my friends, 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 and so much more. Beloved and friends, sometimes we might even lack time for ourselves. Let me tell you something from the time we jump out of the bed until we get back home. What it's, it's a series of things that we have, we have 
to do. Praise God, it can be overwhelming, overwhelming, and even riskier. Beloved and friends, it can distract us and make us drift away, drift away, my friends, from God Himself. The Lord should be here. They're trying to speak to us, speak to you. He might be having a certain message that He wants you to hear, beloved and friends. Or has he been speaking to you for the past two weeks, praise God, or four months? He's been speaking to you or years, whatever period you but due to the music, due to the TV series, yes, and TikTok and so on, classes, those road road trips with friends and all the chores around the home you have to do my friends you don't you don't even you don't even hear you don't even hear you don't even notice because your life has been so so preoccupied preoccupied your mind your mind is so busy your mind is so busy your schedule is so busy it's very light it's very tight and just like that you have drifted you have drifted from God Almighty my friends am I speaking to someone today or maybe you can call to mind the former days the former days when certain people were, were tender full of love for the Lord praise God praising and worshiping Almighty God the Savior in God's house yes my friends yet today you know them you know them as difficult different people different person every day they are slowly drifting and drifting away from everything that once they knew and loved yes beloved leaving Jesus Christ and leading leading to the opposite yes direction are you following me today drifting drifting away from the Lord is not something that happens overnight beloved it is not a one-time event but rather this morning a process a process that grows more the disastrous with each passing time each passing moment it is it is that the builds up of prolonged actions that pushes us Father, from our anchor, praise God, Jesus Christ today, my friends, what makes it even harder to realize today is that it is deeply, deeply subtle. yes, nature, beloved and friends, sometimes it is not even, even the violent, the violent storm or other that make the boat drift away. But even the slightest of winds, yes, that flows times and time and time again, beloved and friends, the little, the little things that we do daily seems harmless, but they continually, continually subtract, subtract from our relationship with God Almighty, causing us, causing us to drift, causing us to drift. However, there are certain signs that if it if we detect we must realize that we are getting distracted distracted getting distracted from God who should be our focus today by my speaking to someone we no longer have 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 a, a me me time with God yes my friends lacking silence in our lives God can even cause us to drift, to drift from God Almighty. The importance, the importance of silence and long time with God, my friends, in a believer's life today cannot, cannot be over, cannot be overemphasized today. True, true. The Bible we see how different people were called by God to periods of silence and solitary solitude so that he could speak speak to them on their own on their own today my friends even jesus had the habit of withdrawing withdrawing to a lonely place where he could pray 
and connect pray and connect with his father praise the lord this shows us that important is very to us to follow the same example yes my friends and create create such times when we can consume consume with our lord hallelujah when we when we can focus focus on him and do in, intentional listening to hear what he has to say what he has to tell us uh, beloved and friends if we do not appreciate uh, the power and importance of silence uh, beloved and friends more more times uh, than we can think uh, we are going to miss uh, we are going to miss the voice of the lord hallelujah we we can picture the lord speaking to us uh, in a small voice uh, hallelujah as he did uh, to Elijah, he says, Elijah, and if you are not well positioned this morning, yes, in a place of physical, physical and emotional and spiritual calm, yes, beloved, then we are going, we are going to miss, we are going to miss that voice today, and the more we go without connecting, connecting with God through such uh, intimate moments. Uh, yes, my friends, the more we will drift, uh, the more we drift uh, from Him. Uh, yes, the more we drift from Him, we should examine our daily, our daily routines and see if we are ever make uh, time to be with the present, in the presence, uh, in the presence of the Lord. And if we realize uh, we don't, uh, we don't then uh, this is the time, this is the time to start incorporating such times into into our into our schedules hallelujah praise god the spiritual things the spiritual things that used to bother us my friends no longer no longer do no longer do perhaps you have had those moments when you ask you ask can i be a christian yes but just not go to church every sunday you ask yourself if we were devoted members of the church and now we feel like it is a burden a burden or an inconvenience yes this can be a sign that we are drifting drifting away from God Almighty our zeal our for Christ is dying and our light is dimming and we are day by day after day by day praise God as we journey we join with Christ, we shall strive to be more, more Christ-like, my friends. This means that the deeper, the deeper we grow in our relationship with Him, the more we become, the more we become like Him. Hallelujah. Praise God. The things, the anger, that anger He makes us righteously anger too. Yes, the things that break the heart of Jesus Christ will break our hearts too if we are walking walking in step with him my friends drifting drifting away from him makes us lose lose this his character we begin to become more comfortable with sin hallelujah we even label some some sins as gravely bad today my friends yet others yet others are just small mistakes hallelujah and then we be forgiven and later we began to accommodate accommodate the small sins to fit our lifestyles is am i speaking to someone or a definition to the, to the truth this morning my friends we we no longer involve god in our lives isn't that true when the combination the combination of pride and self-sufficiency yes becomes our driving force beloved and friends the result the result is that we remove god we remove god from the picture yes pride says Pride says, I can do this, I can put this, I don't need, I don't need to consult the Lord on this direction. I don't want anyone to help me or approve of it. Oh, and, and self-sufficiency 
kicks in it kicks in in, in, a, in, a, in a stamp with that pride believes like yeah 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 let's do this we must be careful lest we become we become so ring on, on ourselves hallelujah that we forget that we need we need God the Bible reminds us my friends that we should not lean on our own today understanding yes but rather we should acknowledge the Lord Jesus Christ in all our ways in all our ways we should be inviting him in every stage of our lives today praise God when we are just starting our day or going for an interview school after school after starting work at a new company my friends we should consult consult God young people even in those small decisions we make daily in our lives and lastly this morning this day but not exhaustively my friends we are focused focus on ourselves hallelujah only only on ourselves while it is it is true today that we cannot pour we cannot pour others into our empty cup yes my friends it is not a, a validation of our being so self-focused that we exclude we exclude others and God from <coughs> our lives when it is all on, uh, about us beloved and friends what we what we want uh, what we should like today what we think uh, is good uh, what we think is good and how things make us uh, feel and do not take a minute to look at it from the perspective from the perspective of God we are very much likely to drift to drift to drift from God drift from God it is important that whatever we do whatever we do today we we we, we pause and put ourselves in the feet of Jesus Christ what uh, will you have done what will you have done what kind of reaction will you make him happy with me in the, the, this scenario today doing doing this keeps us uh, from drifting beloved uh, far away from the anchor that is God today beloved uh, and into the dangerous uh, the dangerous sea the sea today of us uh, my friends the thing uh, the thing we're drifting away we're drifting away from God today my friends uh, is that we may not pose immediate immediate listen carefully consequences which is why it is usually hard to notice when it begins to happen hallelujah but it's long long term effects beloved it will always be it will always be a catastrophe a catastrophe a catastrophe it is like a man who's drifting on a boat down a river heading towards the falls he is paddling along lazily enjoying a sunday a Sunday afternoon on the water but people are yelling from the shore from the shore telling him to stop and row back stop and row back warning him to of the danger that lies ahead of him and they even throw out a lifeline but the man smiles back and says that he is okay and nothing is wrong nothing is wrong and soon soon afterwards he crushes down the falls and end up end up badly badly my friends yes injured my friends in the river of the neglect today slowly slowly carries you further and further and further away from the Lord and rather rather than downstream you go my friends today the swifter and the more dangerous more dangerous river more dangerous river becomes you don't know it but they are refreshing falls ahead a place where there are forces beyond your control my friends a place of no turning back are you hearing the man of God today of shipwreck of shipwreck we must learn to check our spiritual lives 
and the levels of our connection, our connection with God. Yes, we get distracted by our daily activities and forget about Him. All my friends together, yes, beloved friends, and when we get when we get the wake up call, when we get the wake up call, my friends, from for for it might be such as in this message this morning that we can make a turn around and speak back to God, speak back to God. It is time that you drift, my friends. It is time. It is time that the drifting, the drift drilling ends it doesn't matter how okay you you are now happy you feel today yes my friends the fact is sooner or later the problems will start kicking in yes my friends and then it might be too late too late we must start we must start to turn back to god start to turn back to him and let him guide your steps i will have to continue this message my friends with part four in the name of jesus at this time i will close in the name of jesus but before i close this morning i know many are sick unto death many are sick this morning all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness but the man of God is back here to tell you this morning that wherever you are sick in hospitals in your home wherever you are that you will not die but you will live you will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny purpose and calling and destiny you will not die before your time you will not go home before your time the devil will not cut you off before your time and whether this morning you have cancer, you have AIDS, you have COVID, you have diabetes, heart problem, liver problem, lungs problem, kidney problem, blood issue of blood, dialysis problem, prostate cancer, what the case may be today, I want to introduce you to the healer. If you're blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, you're lame. I want to introduce you to the healer, my friends, uh, whatever sickness you have, if you're suffering from depression, if you're hearing a song on the roof. There is a storm outside right now, so I try to raise my voice a little more. Praise God. If you're suffering from depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety, God can touch you today. If you're demon possessed today, God will drive out those demons. Whatever sickness, if you're blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, you're lame today, God will touch you and heal you. If you're suffering from arthritis, pain, diabetes, what the case may be, God will touch you right now. There is a tremendous anointing in this room right now. Praise God, wherever you are, if you're listening from the USA, the UK, Canada, the Caribbean part of Europe or the world. Today is your day for a miracle. Today is your day for healing. Today is your day for deliverance and salvation. Right now, in the name of Jesus, wherever you are, I command every sickness, every pain, every disease, every infirmities, every evil, and every work of darkness to go right now in the name of Jesus. Right now, as I said for the anointing, right now, be healed in the name of Jesus. We said free by the power of the Holy Spirit. I command every evil to go right now. I see demons are leaving people right now. I see people are healed left, right, and center today for all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil. It's the power of God. It's the work of the Holy Spirit. Let's give him a big hand to him. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Beloved, write me, text me, call me, and let me know what God has done for you. In Jesus' name, it has been a great joy and privilege to be here this Sunday to minister the word of God. God bless you richly in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Amen and amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus.